Hello and welcome to another driving vlog. This is a weekly sort of uh, vlog that I do uh, every time I'm driving back to Cambridge to go and see my parents. Today I'm actually doing it on a Saturday evening or afternoon right now I guess. Um, I'm going out for a meal this evening instead of going for lunch so it should be pretty awesome. So yeah guys, um, how is this month going? I've actually just filmed a video about this actually and I'll link it up here if you want to have a more detailed uh, view of how this month is going so far. I did a, a sort of a, an update for the sort of 16th of May. We're on the what 18th, 19th today. But yeah, I'm on about I think 6,000 profit so far uh, for the month. Well on our way to make 10,000, all pretty good. Department clear out's going really well, so can't complain about that. Um, and yeah, going pretty well overall. And for those of you, you guys that are new here, I'm uh, Simon. I'm a six-figure Amazon seller in the UK. And that's six-figure profit, six-figure um, revenue as well. So it should be on seven-figure revenue very soon, to be honest. Not too far away. And yeah, I just like to document my journey and help people uh, get into Amazon or people who are already doing Amazon improve their businesses so they can get to sort of you know my level I suppose or even beyond um, or just even make some you know an extra 500 pound thousand pound a month easy to do to be honest with you so yeah um, that's kind of the goal of this uh, whole YouTube channel really and that's what I'm going to talk about today in this video actually is for those of you that want to get into Amazon or those of you that are doing Amazon thinking about maybe doing some socials around your journey and your Amazon you know, journey basically, your Amazon journey, your, your life, etc. So obviously that's what I'm doing. So yeah, it's working out pretty well for me. So for those of you that are new to Amazon, I'd say that even if you're an existing Amazon seller, I think you should definitely consider starting doing some sort of social media around your journey. And you know, I wish I'd started this two years ago when I started my Amazon journey because it'd be really awesome, just not for myself, but for everyone to see my journey from obviously starting from like zero pound profit to, you know, what I'm on now, basically. I think my lifetime is like 120,000 profit in two years. So, and this just keeps accelerating, accelerating. So it'd be really awesome to just document what I learned over time, um, lessons I learned, obviously, like how my profit and revenue went, um, what just the progression every month, and just kind of things like that and also give people tips as we're going along you know trying to encourage new people to get into Amazon you know make some money for some people it would change their lives they can make serious money you know I've inter interviewed a few people who have moved from I know a few people as well that have um, gone from sort of normal jobs to making you know nearly six figures and some one guy I know makes got 300 plus thousand pound a year profit insane you know, and he used to be a warehouse worker. So, yeah, um, crazy really when you think about it. So anyone can get into this business. I'm a big believer of that. Um, and anyone can make a decent amount of money on Amazon. The, the sky is the limit genuinely with Amazon. You can make enormous amounts of money. You can make 5,000 a month, 10,000 a month, or even 30, 40, 50,000 a month. It's not a problem. Um, and the guy, by the way, who does like 300k a year, he's only been doing Amazon now for three years, I believe, maybe four. So it just shows you what's achievable. I mean, hopefully I get there at some point as well. That'd be pretty awesome. But yeah, I think it's just important to maybe just document your journey. I know not everyone wants to be on camera, and that's fine. You don't have to be on camera. Um, you know, I personally like YouTube. I think that's a really good platform to do things on. You can do YouTube like as I am now, use it with a video. You can do it as a faceless YouTube channel if you really wanted. But if video is not really your thing, um, you could always just do like Instagram, you know, just uh, pictures, I guess it is, on picture posts on Instagram. Um, or even just Twitter. Twitter's pretty big for the Amazon community, to be fair. So Twitter could be a good place to start. Just posting your daily results, weekly results, monthly results, and just talking about stuff. Um, and you'd be surprised at what kind of following you get. And you might find that you enjoy teaching people and then you can obviously move into things like coaching or whatever you decide to do basically obviously i've got my discord group um, i've got my youtube channel i do a little bit of TikTok. i've got instagram i've got twitter it's actually hard work actually doing all of them i'm not gonna lie i actually feel like i need to hire like a full-time social media manager but the main ones that i focus on right now are probably twitter youtube 
and Instagram, I guess. Um, I really do need to get onto TikTok more, but yeah, I just don't have the time to keep doing videos for that as well. As well as doing, you know, my other businesses that I do. If you know, YouTube is something you want to get into, um, I'll put a bunch of links in the description for like equipment that you need. If you guys want to get into like YouTube producing content, uh, maybe you want to do like where you know sitting in your office talking about your progress, like I do. Uh, maybe you're someone who does a lot of RA, you know, retail arbitrage, and you go out to the shops a lot. You know, get some sort of action camera there. You know, I'll put a link to the best one down below. Don't get a GoPro, guys. They're not very good. Um, I'll put links down in below for all the equipment that I use and I recommend, basically. But yeah, there's so many different video formats you can do. It's you know kind of crazy. Um, and obviously TikTok's huge as well for the short form content. Um, and yeah, it's just a great thing to do. And I recommend everyone does it, even if it's just for yourself, you know, just to document your journey, because it's cool to see the progress over a year or two or five years. You can go back and go, wow, how things have changed, you know, versus what was happening in the past. So it's definitely, I think it's worth doing. And, and I think everyone has something to contribute. You might not think people might be interested in your journey or your personality or whatever it is basically, but trust me, people will be interested. Everyone has someone who will gravitate towards them. Um, you know, there are people out there that might hate my personality and the way I talk and, you know, do things. That's fine. They might prefer someone else. And there's people that might like me and then, let, you know, not like other people. So. You know, I think everyone's personality has their own audience, essentially. And even if you're covering the same content as other people, you know, you're still adding your own twist, your own personality to it. And that's what's important, I think. And that's what can get the audience. And, you know, I don't like to mention, I mean, I don't, I don't mind mentioning figures with FBA and stuff. It's a little bit trickier with the social side of thing of what I make from the social side, but... Um, let's just say it's a decent amount. Let's put it like that. It's, um, yeah, I can't say because I'm not allowed, but it's a decent amount. It's, um, yeah, how, how can I put it into words that would be, without giving it away too much, I'll have a think. Um, yeah, let's say every year I could buy a nice car. Not a, not, not a nice, nice car, but an okay car. Let's put it like that, basically. So that's what I do a year, essentially, on... Uh, you know, from all the social medias, the coaching, the affiliates, all that kind of stuff. And by the way, guys, thanks very much for you watching because you guys make this possible. Uh, without you guys, I wouldn't be able to do this. So I really appreciate you guys and, you know, helping me out. You know, it's really nice to have this extra income coming in. But also hopefully I'm giving you guys value as well, whether it's, you know, actual Amazon tips or whether it's just like motivational talk or just keeping you interested while you're, you know, prepping and packing. I know a lot of guys listen to these vlogs when they're prepping. So, you know, because obviously prepping is quite boring. It's good to have something on in the background. So if you're prepping now, you know, while listening to this, thanks very much. I appreciate it. It's awesome. Keep going. Um, keep hustling. Um, yeah, I'm a big believer in hustling, basically. Like, you know, in, as in like working hard, doing some sort of your own, your own business, no matter what it is, you know, essentially like sticking it to the man. Not that I have a problem with full-time jobs or anything like that. I just think there's so much more opportunity out there for if you have if you work for yourself and have your own business. It's kind of insane, really. You can make so much more money. It's more fulfilling, uh, depending on what your job you do and stuff like that. Um, and yeah, just overall, just pretty awesome, basically. There's nothing better than having the freedom of working for yourself. And um, yeah, I'm actually meaning to start up a podcast actually uh, with a friend of mine. There was a very dangerous overtake there, <laughs> coming head on at me. Um, you know, talking about more finance stuff and, you know, uh, and things about, you know, talking, well, I think the first podcast would be about me, you know, it'd be jobs versus entrepreneurship. And obviously my friend, well, not obviously, but my friend is a long-term career sort of person. Um, obviously does very well in his job, makes good money. And then you've got me, who does the entrepreneurial side and really advocates that. And obviously, everyone's different. Not everyone's wired to be an entrepreneur. Um, not everyone wants that, you know, irregularity when it comes to the income, I suppose. There's no guaranteed paychecks with a, being an entrepreneur, whereas you do get a guaranteed paycheck with a full-time job. So if some people like that 
and want that security and that's fine not everyone's wired to be an entrepreneur and that's cool but i still think even if you are you know hardcore into your job things like that there's still room maybe to have a side hustle um to try and earn some extra money you never know where it might lead you know you might do your whatever your job you're doing there's probably other people that want to get into that job you can make a course around that so you know i used to be a software engineer for example you know one of the things i considered actually was doing a youtube channel around software engineering and more importantly around how to get a job in it because obviously that's what i did i started quite late i got i became a software engineer in my 30s pretty sure it was my 30s and um you know made a good career out of it it's a good career lots of people want to get into that job they want to know how to do it the different ways to get into it so you know if i could have made a course or a youtube channel around that i think i'd have got quite a you know a big following but i didn't in the end so but yeah there's people that want to get into all kinds of jobs and your experience is very important and you know valuable to people so yeah, it's uh, an interesting one anyway. But yeah, I'm a huge fan of the social media side of things. I don't really consume it hugely. Well, I say that. I'm obsessed with YouTube. Um, I literally watch so much YouTube, it's ridiculous. The other social medias, though, I don't really consume. I'm not really into TikTok, Instagram, really Twitter that much either. Um, what are the other ones? I can't remember. Yeah, there's other, other ones anyway. So the YouTube's the one for me. I think that's the most powerful and the best social media, in my opinion, because... It's got everything. It's got entertainment on there. It's got documentary type stuff. It's got things where you can learn. And that's what I use it for. I, you know, I go from a mixture of watching, you know, binging Amazon FBA videos to learn more about Amazon to watching things like Warhammer law, you know, Warhammer 40K law. You know, I'm not actually a fan of Warhammer 40K, the models, but I absolutely love the law. It's just such a fascinating universe. And I, you know, binge a lot of that as well. Watch a lot of that. Um, what else really just stuff about science um and just random like cat videos every now and then like everyone watches i guess but no mostly like actual educational stuff or you know some entertainment as well but it's actually my primary platform for like entertainment i guess which is kind of crazy really um man this driver this i've obviously been enjoying this like talking to you guys because this drive uh so far has been gone so quickly just realised I passed this speed camera now that I get past and about to go onto the A1. Man, that's a uh, yeah, obviously quite enjoying talking to you guys. Um, but yeah, anyway, that's what something I wanted to touch on. Anyway, was like the social media side of things. Again, I'll put links in the description for like the equipment that I use. I mean, the equipment I use is quite expensive. To be fair, you don't have to start with the most expensive equipment. The best thing to do is just get in front of the camera or do whatever you do. Get recording. Get posting just start you know you're not going to be perfect right off the bat you just got to start off and then just slowly improve over time um, but i'll put links below to sort of i guess like mid-tier medium tier and high tier equipment you know the, the low tier is still good stuff but obviously it's not as expensive versus the higher tier stuff i mean i don't even use high tier stuff i'm sort of low to mid um so you know i've got a dgi action 4 camera here for the car a dgi mic um this is only 90 quid that's 270 pounds and then in my office you know i do have some more expensive equipment i've got like a sony camera with a you know decent lens my microphone in my studio costs about 400 pounds but you don't need anything like that i mean audio is more important than video if you're going to do video you know stuff like this and i do apologize because the audio is not great here because of the sound of the cars and stuff but and the road but yeah, audio, if you're doing like a video, you know, the video doesn't, the video quality doesn't matter as much as the audio. So people can put up with sort of okay video quality, but they won't put up with bad audio quality. So if it's making bad noises or fuzzy or tinny or whatever, that's not good. So that's the main thing you want to focus on is just sorting your audio out. And then you can use your iPhone or whatever for, um, you know, video. It really didn't help me out there. Bloody hell. <laughs> trying to merge onto the a1 this guy's like anyway <laughs> i'd love criticizing other drivers it is a new driver to be fair i was merging onto the a1 there were loads of room on the right hand lane literally just didn't want to move over so anyway um yeah so cool yeah guys get into it join my discord guys you know i talk about 
um, FBA in there, but you can ask me questions about YouTube. I actually do have a YouTube Discord or a social Discord called YouTube Moguls, I think it is. We've got two people in it so far, me and Nikos. We don't really use it that much, but something I might want to build up in the future. And then, yeah, just before we end this sort of topic on the YouTube stuff and social stuff, whatever, you know, how can you actually, if you decide to do this and you want to make money of it, what kind of income streams can you get? Well, you've got the affiliate signups. There are so many softwares in Amazon FBA, it's crazy. So they've all got affiliate schemes, so you can do that. That's ways to get, you know, get money. Um, you know, it doesn't cost the end user any more money, but, you know, you get a small cut out of it. You know, it's not a huge amount, but it adds up. You can get sponsorships if you're lucky enough to ever get a sponsorship. Um, you can make, obviously, money from, like, the YouTube AdSense stuff. I mean, I'm not even monetized yet on YouTube, so that's not, you're not going to make a huge amount from that, but that's another way to do it, I suppose. Uh, what else? Oh, coaching as well. If you fancy you want, you want to teach people how to make, you know, how to do FBA or whatever. That's what I do. I do coaching. Um, I don't do a huge amount of coaching. Probably one or two students a month, I'd say. I really don't push it that hard, to be fair. Um, I'm happy just helping people and whatever. So, um, yeah, you know, a couple of hours a week, I'd say a month, sorry. You know, so it's, all, it's okay. You know, it's fine. Um, and then courses as well. I think that's probably the route I'm going to go down next is doing a course. Um, the dreaded course. <laughs> um, yeah, so that's I'm working on it now, basically. So my younger brother was saying he wants to get into Amazon, finally. You know, I posted, I sent him a, a text the other day saying, oh, look, I only made like £700 today. So it was my best day. I think it was like £770 um, I made for one day. And he was like, right, that's it. I'm getting into Amazon now. You know, he's been reluctant to get into it. He's got a full-time job. He keeps him busy. He makes good money. He's like, right, now I'm getting into it. So actually today I'm going to be t helping him set up. But, um, yeah, I forgot what I was saying around that. I knew. <laughs> um, so, yeah, so obviously then he was like, oh, you know, how do we get started on the, um, you know, do you have like a video of telling you how to get started and things like that? I was like, oh, do you know what? I don't actually have a video on the step-by-step the -step processes of starting from zero and then, you know, all the different steps to becoming a successful FBA seller. So that's what I'm going to be doing. I've written like a whole syllabus out. Obviously, it's quite extensive. There's, you, you've got the broad stuff, but then inside that you've got all the nuances, so all the little topics. So it's, it's quite big, to be honest. And if I'm going to go to the effort to make all that, I mean, I will release a lot of it on YouTube, to be fair. But I'm probably going to make a, make a course, and it's not going to be expensive, guys. It's going to be like, I mean, off the top of my head right now, I'm thinking like fifty pounds, something like that, just a one-time course. Um, yeah, and they'll basically get you going on Amazon. That's what I'm thinking right now, and then maybe I'll do like a more intermediate or advanced one later. But saying that, even this course is going to have a lot of advanced stuff in it. Um, but yeah, that's just something I'm thinking about doing right now. Well, more than thinking, I've planned it out. Not actually recording anything yet, but yeah, it just made me realize, actually, you know what? A lot of the content I put out there, as good as it is, doesn't necessarily help someone get started in Amazon. It's more for people that are existing Amazon sellers. And I'd love to start capturing more new sellers, basically, and getting more people into Amazon. Um, and people would might say to me, why do you want to get people into Amazon? Isn't it going to dilute it for yourself? I mean, yes, it will, but I also, I'm also a huge believer that there's such potential on Amazon that there's enough place, there's enough room for everyone, basically. Well, not everyone, obviously, but realistically, how many more people are going to come into it? Um, and is it really going to affect everyone? The answer is no. But it will do if we all source the same category and chase the same items. That's not going to work. But I believe there's a huge, like, market for this, you know, in terms of, like, the Amazon's so enormous and the markets are so enormous there's room for everyone yeah so that's something in the pipe work i mean guys there's so much opportunity on fba whether it's courses or doing fba or social media or software or discord groups it's just it's insane it's a you know it's crazy how much money is available guys so you guys can make some serious money and you know what i just enjoy helping people so that's why i do this uh, it's documenting for myself, of course, but it's also helping people. That's the main thing. So, and I'm not too worried about 
being secretive and trying to hoard all the information for myself, which a lot of Amazon sellers do. It's an extremely secretive community, to be quite honest with you. Extremely secretive. It's actually, yeah, insane. And I get it to a certain extent, but I'm, I'm actually a big believer that sharing is caring, basically. And I think that if you give people information, um, you'll get it back as well. And that's not why I do it. I'm not expecting anything back, but I do believe that, you know, helping people has, is, you know, obviously it's its own reward as well, but, you know, you will actually get something back as well. I think, you know, you can bounce ideas off each other, things like that. So, yeah, rather than being secretive, in my opinion, there's other people that just totally disagree with me. You know, they want to hoard everything for themselves, keep all the information for themselves. So I was actually chatting to a guy uh, sort of last night-ish when I was playing Xbox, just talking about more about Europe. And I know a lot of people are looking to maybe get into selling into Europe. It's something that's a massively untapped market as far as I'm concerned. It, and there's, I mean, I've done, done a whole video on Europe. And yeah, there's so much opportunity in Europe. Europe, it's just so untapped. It's just kind of crazy. So the main thing that I do right now is called EFN. That's European Fulfillment Network. And I've done a whole video on Europe stuff. I'll link in the description. I can't link all the videos up. You know, you can only do one per video, as far as I'm aware. So yeah, I'll uh, link that in the description where I talk about sort of you know, doing Europe. But there's you know, multiple ways to do Europe. There's EFN, that's what I do, European Fulfillment Network. That's where your stock is in the UK, in the UK warehouse, and then let's say someone from Germany orders your item, then Amazon will deal with you know sending it to Amazon, all the import stuff, custom stuff, things like that. So that's cool. It's expensive though, and obviously you might be missing out on sales because someone who orders from Germany, from the UK, it's going to take two, three, four days to arrive. You know, we all know people like Prime Delivery. You know, so. The next step is to go to sort of pan EU, and that's where you actually end up having the items in Germany or whatever country. So and I was actually chatting to this guy. Um, he's an owner. He's actually the owner of um, a group, and yeah, he does pan EU. And I didn't realise actually. Apparently, like if you send all your stock to Germany, that um, as far as my understanding is, from what he was saying is that you, it'll, they'll basically distribute your stock around Europe, so into other countries, depending on where they think the demand is. So if you say you, you have, you have a thousand units of something in Germany, and there's demand in Poland for this item, then they'll distribute it out to Poland, and that way those people in Poland can get the, the prime delivery. So there's obviously, if you, you know, not obviously, but if you start storing stock in Germany or in any, any European country, you don't have to pay VAT, uh, register for VAT, etc in those countries. You have to pay VAT anyway, to be fair, uh, with EFN, but Amazon deal with that all for you. But yeah, if you do decide to turn to Germany, you're gonna need some accounting thing. I think Amazon do help you with that, um, paying the VAT and stuff like that. So, but yeah, it's just um, something to, I think a lot of people aren't tapping into. So that's um, definitely something, and it's not something you wanna get into right away. It's a more advanced thing, but it's definitely, it just shows, this is why I think the Amazon so, you know, so big because you know a lot of people are just so bottlenecked into the UK but like I say you've got all of Europe okay Germany being probably the biggest European market but you've got France Spain Italy Poland Netherlands I believe uh, Sweden maybe I can't remember all of them to be honest um, there's obviously quite a few of them that Amazon will do with EFN and then the next big one which again is something I want to get into um, is the USA, the dreaded USA. You know, it's quite a, uh, this hu the market out there is just nuts. It's just, it's 10, 20 times bigger than the UK. Um, the sales volumes are even bigger. You know, they're just crazy. People, there's so much money to be made in the USA, it's just bonkers. And it makes the UK look like a waste of time. Um, <laughs> so that's something I want to get into at some point. Obviously, you need to have good systems in place, have things all set up correctly uh, for the USA. You know, if you're in the UK running a USA business, everything else has to be remote. You have to have prep centers in place, you have to have systems in place for returns, and things like that. So yeah, that's definitely an interesting thing to think about. Accounting out there is a bit more expensive, apparently. You need to incorporate in a country like, not country, in a county like Oregon or Delaware. There's a few counties out there that are very good. You obviously want a prep center in a sales-free tax state. Tax, yeah, anyway, I can't, yeah. Um, 
it's all this kind of stuff. So there's a lot of logistics and setup to do it, but I think the opportunity there could be enormous and you can make a fortune, to be quite honest with you. So that's something I'm going to be looking into. I don't know. I've got so many opportunities. You know, that's something I, I don't know when I'll look into that at some point, maybe this year. Um, obviously, you've got private label as well. It's a whole other thing. This is why, again, I, there's too much to Amazon for one person. So don't hoard the information. Share it. Share the wealth. You know, there's so much inf so so much wealth out there to be had. It's crazy. So yeah, so many ways to make money on Amazon, and yeah, and then obviously outside of Amazon as well. And the other reason I love FBA, I'm sorry if I'm boring you guys, and I mentioned this before, but here we go. Um, <laughs> is that it's like it's probably one of the best gateway businesses into other businesses that I know of. So. You know, people who want to be an entrepreneur but don't know really how to start a business or don't have any business ideas, FBA is like the best way to get started because it's essentially like a, it's obviously a real business, but it's like a mini business in a way. And you can make really quick money on FBA. Um, there are obviously downsides to doing Amazon FBA, the one being that you can't sell the business. That's the downside. If you're just doing like online arbitrage, retail arbitrage. But what you can do is you can make some quick money. Once you start making 20, 10, 5, 10, 20,000 a month, whatever you're doing, you can then invest that money into other businesses. Maybe that's a more a slower business model in Amazon, like uh, private label, for example, or wholesale, or um, you want to do something else around Amazon, um, then move into a different market, whatever. Or you can even move that money into other businesses. You might find there's opportunity inside of Amazon, but you know, like creating software, Discord groups. Um, coaching, of course, all the stuff I've talked about before, basically. So it's a great gateway into other businesses, and you can use that money. And this is my overall plan, by the way. I made like a, a pyramid uh, sort of plan of how I plan on getting super wealthy. And it all starts off with doing online arbitrage, retail arbitrage with FBA, and then transitioning that money, which I would consider quick money, into uh, more um, slower opportunities but have more sellability essentially so you can't sell an OA or RA business really there's no no value to it however if you build up a brand on private label that is definitely sellable if you build up some software on Amazon that is definitely sellable you know you get a thousand two thousand five thousand users on some software bring in 20 30 40 thousand a month profit you can sell that thing for like a 20, 30x multiple, and then bam, you're a millionaire. Um, private label doesn't go for those kind of same multiples, probably, you know, maybe 2x your uh, your sort of yearly revenue or yearly profit, 3x maybe. So, but yeah, if you end up getting a FBA business, a private label business that go starts making, let's say, 250, 300k a year in profit, well, you could realistically probably sell that for... 750 maybe a, th a million pounds so you know quite a nice exit so anywhere between 500 and a million it obviously all depends on the margins how big that market is is there growth in there you know what the growth has been over time there's lots of things that these people look at before they buy a business but yeah um there's opportunity there as well so yeah there's nothing better than fba that i know of to really start getting those it's like the easy way to learn business. You learn about taxes. You learn how to sort of, you have to learn to sell. That's the, that's the one thing. But you learn about taxes. You learn about margins, profit margins, hiring people, revenue, um, VAT as well eventually. Um, you know, how to run a limited company, you know, with dividends and all that kind of fun stuff like that. So, yeah, it's um, a great way. And then obviously you can get into, another, you know, scale into another business that's more tricky, I guess, that has bigger potential. So that's why I'm just, yeah, huge on this. And do I see myself doing OA, RA for five, ten years? No. You know, I'll probably do this for another couple of years. Depends how much money I'm making, but realistically, I'm going to try and transition myself into maybe a more sustainable business. But we'll see, basically. Definitely won't be doing this more than ten years. I mean, I doubt it very much, but... Let's see how much money we start making, you know. If I start making 20, 30, 40, 50 grand a year, a year, a month, um, then, yeah, I might be very tempted to carry it on. But, um, yeah, but then there's more to life than money, I suppose, as well. So, 
it's an interesting one and yeah i'm just hopefully this guy's is motivating you guys that's the main thing this is that's why i watch a lot of like you know fba videos and business videos is one to gain the knowledge you might gain just one piece of information from a video hopefully someone out there has gained one nugget of information out of this video so far if you have leave a comment in the description um you know just and also it just motivates people as well i get motivated by listening to successful people and hopefully i'm motivating people as well obviously compared to some people i'm making way more money than them um, and hopefully i'm motivating those people and then compared to some other people i'm making peanuts so we're all in different parts of our journeys and yeah I, i'm just a big proponent of helping people who are uh, i guess you know want to learn and, and maybe not as far in the in the journey as you are so yeah hopefully yeah you guys have got some inspiration out of this and some knowledge hopefully i've dropped some knowledge on you um but this is more for me just rambling on about stuff rather than dropping knowledge but yeah i did a video the other day about how to source an actual category like a specific category so check out that video it's in my channel um and also i put in that i didn't actually mention in that video i should have actually but i'm putting together a few groups of people to sort of crowdsource um you know products together so the idea being that you get three four five people in a channel together you know i'll create the channel in my discord group um they jump on a call two or three times a week hopefully you know for an hour or two and they just all source together ideally they'll pick a you know agree on a category let's say it's sewing and knitting or whatever it is di diy tools fishing whatever tech category it is and then they all do the research on becoming experts in that category and the whole idea there is that everyone will work on that for ideally two or three months all pooling their knowledge no one holding back anything everyone has to post all their leads or their knowledge or their information and you build this big master sort of spreadsheet of knowledge around sourcing that category what brands there are what sales to do what sites to source from what replens there are and once the you know the four or five people have done this they don't for three months you should have a really good repository of information and at that point you can either decide to carry on you know collaborating or you can then decide to part ways if you wanted to so but the main thing is it just helps people get going you can share so information you can motivate each other you can chat to each other hopefully everyone's on similar journeys as well you know obviously no point putting someone in who makes twenty thousand a month in with someone who makes five hundred pound a month probably not going to be a uh, thing so everyone needs to be on similar journeys and i think right now we've got enough for two groups nearly i think we're one, one or two short then we've got four people for the right now just done i uh, split them into two groups vat registered group and non-vat um, i think we need one or two more people for the non-vat ones and maybe one more for the vat one so if you're interested in joining those groups guys and it's free by the way it's all free um, i'll be jumping in as well where i can to help out um, ideally I'll jump into all of them but you know I'll yeah anyway but I'll be in those groups anyway helping out you know that's the main thing so will I be in every call I don't know hopefully I will be but no promises there um, yeah if you want to join those groups leave me a comment below um, and yeah I'll get in touch with you or you can DM me on discord at FBA mogul so I think that's going to be a really cool thing um, it's not I'm not making any money out of this I'm just doing it just because it's is for my discord members and my youtube members so yeah um yeah it'd be pretty awesome i think and hopefully we'll get some good categories and um people will find some good leads that's the main thing and learn how to source a category and how to source properly um so many ways to source as well i mean i'm you know not an expert really i'm good at some ways of sourcing but there's one that i'm really lacking on that's keep a product finder i really need to put some work in and start figuring out how to use that better um there's so many opportunities just for like amazon to amazon deals and things like that it's just crazy um i just started actually using a sourcing software called Arby Source. i've only been using it maybe a few days now i think i've had it for a week but i've only used it once or twice and to be fair, i found one good lead out of it so far but i'm still evaluating that um but i'll put, put a link in the description for that if you guys want to give it a go i'm not necessarily recommending it right now um i'll give my recommendation in like let's say three weeks or so once i've used it properly i need to actually sit down and use it um yeah so far so good though actually i've been pretty impressed overall um so yeah i mean that's probably going to be a recommendation but you know we'll have to see but yeah i'll put a link below as well for that if you guys want to just jump in and give it a go 
you know, they, I think they've got 400 sites they can scan. So the whole RV source basically is like a, a sourcing tool. So they'll scan websites looking for deals, um, all that kind of stuff, which is kind of crazy that they do so, so many sites. Uh, just a great way to find leads and stuff, really. Um, yeah, pretty awesome, to be honest. So, yeah, give that a go if you want. Or wait for my review to come out. I'll do a review of it. I need to start doing more reviews of software, guys. I think I've done one or two so far. I've done Prof Protector Pro, which is a sponsor of this channel. Um, you know, I use that myself, and it's really good. So, yeah, I've done one on that. Um, great software, to be honest. It's made me an extra nearly £2,000 profit since I've been using it in the past, I think it's six weeks. I can't remember exactly when I started using it. So I've got the sun keeps coming in and out, in and out, and I have to put the air con on and off, on and off. Um, it's really warm when the sun's out. So yeah, um, yeah, so many softwares out there and stuff you can source as well, um, things like that. So yeah, sourcing's a, it's a skill in itself. You really need to be able to source. You need, that's the skill you need to learn how to do it. There's multiple ways to do it. I've done a whole video. Again, check out my channel about all the different sourcing methods. Um, the one that I like to use is the newsletter signing up one, where you basically, you know, sign up to all the newsletters, you know, check them every morning, look for what sales have come in. Maybe a certain site's doing like a site-wide 50% off coupon, or maybe there's a specific brand that's on offer. You know, you can then source that site or brand. Um, and yeah, just and essentially your manual sourcing at that point. Um, so yeah, you know, and then, yeah, there's so many other different ways to source and stuff, so going off on a tangent here anyway, so, man, yeah, so we'll probably wrap that up anyway. If you have enjoyed this vlog, please like, comment, and subscribe if you have not already subscribed. It really helps out the channel. I really appreciate you guys taking the time to watch as well. Um, it's awesome when you guys, someone DMs me and says, oh, I'm really enjoying your vlogs and stuff. So it really is nice. Um, yeah, I really do like that. So it's good to get the feedback from people. I'm always trying to improve my videos, improve my content. And, um, but yeah, sometimes I don't even realize that I've not even made the right content. So like when my brother pointed out that I you know, didn't have much content for new people. So that is something I'm definitely going to be working on. And yeah, and hopefully even people who are existing sellers will get information out of that as well. Because there's always nuggets of information in every video basically that you know uh, you might not even know it might just even be a light bulb moment you know what? i've had so many light bulb moments watching fba videos it's kind of crazy so and stuff that seems so obvious as well but yeah i've had quite a few of those light and i'm like how did i not think of that already anyway guys we'll wrap it up thanks very much for watching and i'll see you in the next one